actually a croc. It's an absolute croc that is one of those things that has become common, oh, my intuition told me. My God. It's like folklore, it's, uh, it's legend, okay? Now, before you get your panties in a bunch from that comment, intuition's a croc, let's examine just the superficial aspects of it, okay? Everybody thinks that the intuition they have is accurate mm -hmm. because it came from a gut response or it, just an intuitive feeling and that therefore there's an accuracy attached to it. What you've got to factor in is that you also have a bad nature. You also have an ego in your brain. Right. You also have something called bias confirmation. And we talked about that just 10 minutes ago, mm -hmm. that the expectations you carry in your unconscious is often the perspective you see in the world. That confirmational bias is one of the most important things to understand from a perspective standpoint, mm -hmm. right? So when you get this nudge, this intuitive response in your gut, whatever you want to call it, that this is going to happen or that's going to happen or something bad's coming or something good's coming, you can't just take away that bias confirmation. You can't take away that bound nature. You can't take away the perspective at which you see the world, both the internal environment of yourself and the external world, you can't take it out of the equation and say, oh, but my intuition's accurate. But your intuition's part of that bias. Your intuition's part of that perspective. Mm -hmm. Do you know who often feels as though something bad's coming? People who chronically complain about life. People who are chronically sad. People who are chronically seeing the glass as half empty. Mm -hmm. Do you know who often feel as though their intuition is telling them something great's on the horizon? People who are the exact opposite. Right. Our perspective is a dominant factor in the intuition we receive. Mm -hmm. You can't take that out of the equation. So I'm not saying intuition's a crock in that it doesn't exist. I don't believe that. But <clears throat> to separate it away from the natural processes that govern the perspective we have about ourselves, about the world is naive mm -hmm. and it's immature and it's ridiculous. Now, to go one step farther, there's a part of your nervous system called the enteric nervous system. Okay, now, most people know the central nervous system and they might even know the autonomic parts of it, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic, but let's go down a little farther into our gut area. The, the part of our nervous system that governs digestion and gut health is called the enteric nervous system. The enteric nervous system has to be operational for us to have health, digestive health, etc. The enteric nervous system is governed and regulated by the parasympathetic, uh, parasympathetic part of our autonomic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic part is the relaxing part, is the quiet and calm and still part. Let me ask you a question. How many people walking around the world are calm? Right. And relaxed and content and not in an, in an anxious state. Mm -hmm. Not many by proportion, which means our parasympathetic systems are not particularly chiming in well in modern society, which means our enteric nervous system is not being regulated well, which means these gut responses are, are not even like being regulated by a healthy nervous system that is needed to be there from a health mechanism standpoint for that intuitive response to actually mean something. I know I didn't want to get too deep into the science. Well, I'm not a scientist, but does that make sense? We got to just, we, we got to add a little bit of pragmatism to the way we talk about spirituality sometimes. Totally. I agree. So I'll shut up now. You know, I, I want to know if that made sense. Or... I want to add to that um, because I think that, you know, I, I actually was journaling about something the other day and I remember saying to you, you know, because I can trust my gut now, mm. but I use those words. I can trust my gut now, right. right? I have gone through 10 years of unlayering unconscious narratives and stories mm -hmm. that were ego bound, that were influence created, that were right. driving me to biases that weren't serving me, right? And so my gut response is it built off of a truth or is it built off of my truth? Right. And, and I think that that's really important for people to understand because we want to like, and even still to this day, 
honestly, like one of my favorite things to say is like when you conclude, you stop seeking. Right. And I think that when we go with a gut response, we're making a conclusion more than we realize. A hundred percent. Yes. Let it's me, confirmational bias. Let me give an example. And I'm not going to go into this example because this is what I want to talk about in the after party. But I woke up this morning with this kind of like feeling of like, I'm supposed to be stressed about something. Yeah. Right. Now, if I didn't have the space this morning to scan my thoughts and assess, is there something that's bugging me yeah. that I need to take care of, blah, 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 I maybe would have carried that strain and that stress with me all morning, sure. right? But I had the space this morning, I scanned, I like, there's nothing, I put it to bed, right? I, I literally was like, nothing to worry about. A couple of hours later, my dad sends me this article. I love you, dad, but oh, really? the articles that he <laughs> sends me, and I'm not even gonna talk about what it was, but it was an article that very easily could have triggered me into, yes. see, I, I woke up, I knew I had a bad feeling, I knew I was stressed about something. That would be called confirmation this, bias. This is what's gonna happen, this is, this is horrible, blah, 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 and then my reality would have been created from that space. Exactly. As opposed to, I saw this article, didn't even read the article, and then I went just on. Just saw the headline. I just saw the headline. Yeah. And then I went on to tell myself the story I wanted to tell myself about right. it. Right. Right? So we, we, we give way. I think sometimes we give too much away to this gut and this intuition. And it allows us to step out of the responsibility and the ownership of where we're currently sitting ourselves. Okay. That was gorgeous.